Hello, I'm Nagendra, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to store the Amazon simple email service feedback notifications such as deliveries, bounces, or complaints that are sent to the Amazon simple notification service. Let's get started. Before getting started, let's first confirm that the Amazon SES is configured to send feedback notifications to Amazon SNS. To do this, I am logged in to my AWS SES console and I have opened the verified identity that has the feedback notifications configured. Here, I can confirm that the feedback notifications for delivery, bounds, and complaint are configured to send to my SNS topic. Next, let's configure the DynamoDB table where we plan to store these notifications. For this, let's go to the DynamoDB console and select the Create Table option. I'll choose the table name as SCS Notifications. I'm using the partition key SCS Message ID and sort key SNS Publish Time. I will leave all these other settings as they are. Now, let's create the table. This takes a few minutes to complete. While we are waiting, let's go on to the next step. For the next step, let's create a Lambda function. I'll open the Lambda console and then select the Create Function option. For this use case, we will be using a pre-existing blueprint for SNS Lambda in Node.js runtime. After we select the blueprint, we can configure it. I'll name the Lambda function as SES Notifications Code. For the execution role, I have already created an AWS Identity and Access Management role that can be used by the Lambda function. So I will be choosing it from the existing roles. To show you the permissions that are added to this role, I have my IAM console open on the side. Because we plan for this function to interact with DynamoDB service, I have added the permissions to put an item in the specific DynamoDB table. After selecting the role, let's select the SNS topic that we will use for the Amazon SES notifications. Choose Create Function. For the actual function code, let's use the example code provided in this Knowledge Center article on this topic that's linked to this video in the description section. Let's copy this code into the Lambda console and deploy it. We can see from the function console that the Amazon SNS trigger is configured and is enabled. Now that we have all the resources created, let's return to the Amazon SCS console and view the verified identity that is configured with feedback notifications. I'll use the send test email option to send an email from this identity to bound simulator email address. We can get this bound simulator email address from the Amazon SCS documentation at the link found in the Knowledge Center article. I will enter the test subject and body to send this test email. This test email sent to the bounce email address triggers a notification to the SNS topic that then invokes our Lambda function. Let's go to the Lambda function console and open the monitor tab. Now we can confirm from the invocation metric that the Lambda function is invoked. After we confirm this, let's return to the backend DynamoDB table and check the table for any new items. Here, we can see that the information about the email that is sent to the bound simulator is stored here as expected. We can view the contents of this item to verify the destination email address that the email is sent when it's bounced. In this case, it is the bound simulator email address. We can also see the message ID, message type, and the timestamp of the message. If you want to export this data, first select all the items in the table. Go to Actions to export all items in the table as a CSV file. You can save this file for compliance purposes or analyze the data in the file. So now we have reviewed the steps required to store the Amazon SES feedback notifications in a DynamoDB table using a Lambda function. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>